Hi, and welcome back to Talking Shop. Today I'm going to talk about CNC uh, waste boards a little bit and how to surface them. So first I'll describe what a waste board is briefly. Uh, when you get a machine like this, this is a Carbide 3D Shapoko XL machine, which is the middle size machine. It's going to come with this baseboard, which is made of MDF. The baseboard holds the machine together, but is not meant to be CNC'd into. So if you're cutting through a piece, all the way through a piece, um, a lot of times you'll want to overcut that piece a little bit, or you'll maybe even just end up by mistake overcutting that piece a little bit, and you'll dig into that baseboard. If I were to do that onto this MDF baseboard, what would happen over time is I would get enough cuts in it and there would be nothing that I could do. I couldn't resurface this waste board um, to, you know, to replace it. Ideally, I want to keep that where it is, and that's where a waste board or spoil board comes in. Sits on top of that regular base piece. Uh, it also has a couple other nice benefits. So one nice benefit is that it raises that base piece up a little bit. So if you have a piece and you want to be able to take the piece and overhang the front edge, because some of the capacity of your machine is over the front edge of the machine. So it's actually, you don't have access to much back here, but over the front, you do have a couple inches of workable area. So a lot of times you're feeding something in, the waste board lifts it just enough up so that now you don't have to contend with this front rail and try to clear the front rail. Another thing that's nice about a waste board, uh, and a lot of people do with their waste boards, is that you can actually build clamping directly into it. So with these machines, it's very common to use something like carpet tape or double-sided tape to attach your workpiece, but over time this can get really annoying because it's super tedious uh, and it's also uh, will have a consistent inconsistent height of the workpiece when you put it down. So one side of tape might be a little bit thicker than the other side of tape or you might not apply them directly. Uh, so that's why carpet tape can be bad. Another thing people do is they'll shoot nails through a workpiece. That's fine for small pieces, but one, you're then shooting nails through a piece that you might otherwise want to keep. Two, something like this, this is an inch and a half uh, piece of white oak. It's gonna be very difficult for me to shoot a nail through consistently and have it not pop out the side and ruin the work piece. Uh, so what you can do with a, a waste board, uh, this waste board I have here, it comes from a design from a place called Myers Woodshop, which I'll put a link for below. Actually has clamps built into it. I'll do a separate video on this clamping system uh, and how it works, uh, or you can head over to Myers. He has great videos um, that'll show you how this entire thing goes together. Uh, but that's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is surfacing the waste board. So the reason you want to surface a waste board is because you want, from the machine's perspective, this entire surface to be completely level. Now you might think that that base board is completely level, and it probably is, but over time temperature fluctuations can have their effect on that base board and warp it in different ways. So you want to attach something like this, and then what you actually want to do is you want to put a large bit inside of the CNC and then run a rectangular program that can essentially go over this entire thing as if you were uh, like surface planing it with the CNC. By doing that, you're going to get a completely level, flat surface from the machine's perspective um, that you can really build something on and know confidently that the Z height over here for the machine is going to be the same as the Z height over here is. So what do you need to do something like this? First, what you need is a surfacing bit or even just a, a large bit like this. This is essentially a flat uh, bottomed bit. Uh, this one is from Whiteside. I'll put a link down below, but it's a, a 6210 part number. This is an inch wide. You can go a little bit bigger if you want to. And the second thing you need is you need a surfacing file. So what a surfacing file is, is just basically a rectangle that you have set up for your CNC. Uh, Myers also has a link to those on his website, so if you are interested in those, uh, they're good, but they're really easy to make. All you have to do is go into your uh, Carbide Create or whatever you're using, Fusion 360, and build a rectangle cutout uh, with a consistent depth, and then have the CNC cut it. Now as far as depth, some people recommend something pretty aggressive. Uh, I like to go something like .012. Uh, this is like the smallest cut that you can possibly make. Another thing that I like to do when I'm doing the surfacing is I like to take a pencil and I like to draw all over it. This is kind of a, a typical thing you do when planing a board so that you know that the bit has touched every piece of the surface when you see no more pencil marks. Uh, don't be afraid to take multiple passes. Uh, another thing to watch out for on these that I don't see mentioned too often is that if you're surfacing, be very careful when you're surfacing about this front rail. Now you don't want your cutter hitting into this front rail, so you have to be very careful uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll start the program toward the beginning 
or sorry, sorry, toward the center of the machine. And then as it's cutting out, I can feel how high that lip is. And if the lip I can tell is gonna to be too high that it's gonna cut into this piece, then I stop cutting. Now, obviously, uh, at that point, you're gonna to wanna to get rid of the wasteboard uh, and just replace it. These should be pretty easy to replace. You just unscrew them. Um, if you screw them in or you know, put, pop the nails out and put a new one in, uh, just right in its place. Um, another thing to be careful of is the, uh, if you use T-nuts in here, you also wanna be mindful of how high the T-nuts are to make sure that you don't cut down and start hitting your T-nuts. Uh, little things like nails, I typically let the cutter cut them because they're, they're pretty lightweight and they can just get cut. Another thing you want to watch out for is, is scalloping uh, or, or this ridging that you see here. So this is very light ridging. Uh, I think mine is pretty much within the acceptable margin of error, but you could imagine a more intense version of this. And the way, what it comes from is having your bit slightly tilted to the back or front or left or right. Uh, you can tell basically that these are about half an inch, and that's because my bit is an inch. It's taking passes that are half an inch, and these, this is how big the overlap is on the bit. So when you see something like this, uh, you can either, if it's within a margin that's acceptable to you, you can leave it, or you can trim the machine. So I would recommend if, if this is a problem that you're having, doing some research. Uh, but it's kind of another benefit of, of this surfacing is that you can see when your uh, cutter head is not um, you know, fully perpendicular in all directions to the surface like you need it to be. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope I've given you like a decent understanding of what these waste boards are, how to surface them, and where to get more resources as far as uh, how to clamp things down uh, on these CNC's. And I will see you soon. Oh, also one more thing. I am uh, gonna be rebranding the channel from Talking Shop to See John Make. If you, if you follow me now, nothing should change, uh, but if you're interested in you know, following me on other uh, places, then I'm also C. John Make on Instagram. Uh, I hope that you can uh, check me out. I'll be putting content there uh, and on YouTube, kind of back and forth. So I'll see you around. Thank you.